Hey, it's Sophie Student here, and today we're going to talk a bit more about buttons, and more specifically, today I'm going to showcase a custom button, and how we're going to be creating a button with rounded corners and a linear gradient. So, let's just have a look at the button setup we already have. For now, we just have a very simple button with some text button. It is for now on the width, matching the parent, which means it's from edge to edge, more or less, and on height, matching the Wrap the constant, wrap the constant. Then we have this constraint matching all our top button right and left. We then have on click, trigger on text method. We then add some margins on the left and the right. So instead of it going from completely edge to edge, we have some space, 24 pixels. And I made the button text white. Just using simple text color set. So to create a custom button, we would need to create a new XML document inside the tradition inside Drawable, where I will create a new Drawable resource file. I'm just going to call it VG for background. And inside this new XML, instead of having it be a selector, we would like to be a shape. And we're then going to add a gradient, where we're going to have a start color. And we're gonna have a end color, and we're gonna have a angle, and then we're gonna close our gradient tag. We're then also gonna add a corner tag, which allow us to round the corners. Where we're gonna add a radius, and for now let's just set the radius to eight pp, and close the tag. And I'm then just going to add some colors. So I already have some colors, which is going to be a gradient. As you can see from this bluish to this pinkish, which I think is actually quite modern. At least it's what we're doing right now with gradients, I think. These more lighter colors. And right now it's going from top to bottom. We're then going to add an angle at zero to go from left to right. So all we actually now need to do, because now we have this gradient, or this shape technically, with the gradient and rounded corners, we can then take this shape and add it on top or our button use the shape by simply doing a background, Android background tag. And then we're gonna add our drawable or our BG XML inside our drawable folder. And as you can see right now, we get this button with rounded corners and the gradient. And I can now just simply run the program again. I want to give it a second to update. You can see we now have this button implemented and it still works. Where whenever we click the button, the text updates button clicked. And that's pretty much it. So the whole point of creating these custom buttons is creating a new XML file, resource file, where we set some kind of shape and then we either define gradient, we could just define a color, corners, or whatever we want to do. So that's pretty much the setup. Create these files and then use them in, uh, on our button as our background by giving it the position of this BG document. And you can see on the left here, we actually have an image showcasing that this is what we're actually putting on top of our button. So that's pretty much how we create custom buttons or custom whatever we want, where we can create these custom shapes and then add them on top of our button, for example. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.